Hello everyone, I'm Rod Wortham and welcome to this episode of Race Face Driver Updates. Let's get started with Connor Mozak, who was at Carteret County Speedway for the Cars Tour Solid Rock Carriers 125. Connor qualified 16th and brought home a top five finish in fourth place. The race had 11 cautions and was red flagged four times, twice for cleanup of incidents and twice for track repair due to a patch on the back stretch. When the patch broke apart for the third time, the curfew had been reached and the race was called after 90 laps of the scheduled 125. Up next for Connor, Trans Am at VIR on September 25th through the 27th. Sam Butler was at Hickory Motor Speedway on Sunday due to a Saturday rainout for twin 40 lap features. Sam is coming off his Bobby Isaac Memorial win last week. In a race one, Sam battled with national point leaders Josh Berry and Ryan Millington and brought home a third place finish. These three have battled door to door all season. This weekend was no difference. Now on to race two. Sam started seventh due to the invert from race one and battled hard but could not catch the top two that had gotten away early in that race that did not see a caution and brought home another third place finish. Up next for Sam, back to Hickory on September 19th for the Napa Championship Night 80 lap feature. Caden Honeycutt went to Kennendale Speedway with one mission, win the race and collect the check. The Willow Park, Texas driver did not disappoint as he won the Dirt Sport Modified race and collected the $2,000 check in the process. Up next for Caden, the Blizzard at Five Flag Speedway with Donnie Wilson Racing on September 19th. Cassidy Hines pulled double duty at Colorado National Speedway, racing both her pro truck and legend car. In the pro truck, they ran three feature races and Cassidy brought home a first and two fourth place finishes. In the legend car, Cassidy qualified 15th out of 36 cars and finished in 15th in both A mains. This was Cassidy's second pro truck win of the year and she still remains the only female to ever win a pro truck race at Colorado National Speedway. Up next for Cassidy, junior late models at Madera Speedway on September 19th. Haley Constance returned to the Mountain Dew Junior Late Model Series at Wenatchee Super Oval, where she won her heat race and then finished third in the feature. Up next for Haley, 600 micro sprints at Deming Speedway on the 18th and Junior Hornets at Evergreen Speedway on the 19th. Gavin Graham was at Five Flag Speedway for the very first time in his number 19 Wright Trailers Pro Truck prepared by Kurt Brett Motorsports. Gavin qualified second and took the green in fifth with the invert and raced his way to third by lap 11. He restarted third after a rain delay and was challenging for second on lap 20 before getting involved in an incident on the front stretch ending his night. A very impressive performance by this young driver from Lakeland, Florida. Up next for Gavin, Pro Trucks at 417 Southern Speedway in Ponta Gorda, Florida this weekend. Last but definitely not least, Grant Thompson was at Five Flag Speedway for the Night of Champions in his number 38 Kurt Brett Motorsports Pro Truck looking to tie up the track championship. Grant set fast time in qualifying and started six with the invert. Grant moved into second on lap nine before the rains moved in, causing a 90 minute delay. The field took the restart on lap 15 and Grant took the lead coming off of turn two and never looked back, leading the remaining 13 laps for the win and the track championship. Grant celebrated in victory lane with the floss. Take a look at this post-race recap.
Up next for Grant, Night of Champions in the Pro Late Model at Five Flags on September 19th. That's it for this week's Race Face Driver Updates. And remember, if you've missed any of our shows, you can get caught up at raceface.tv on demand. Don't forget to follow us on social media. Make sure to check out Speed Zone Race Store for the latest in apparel from your favorite Race Face drivers. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities. We'll be back next week with more from your favorite Race Face drivers. So go out there, have a great race week. I'm Rod Wortham. Thanks for watching.